What's up everybody? Welcome to Light to Metal. My name is Scott Waters and it's time for another box set video. Haven't done one of these in a while so I decided uh, one that I was talking about to several people um, I guess who didn't even realize it existed. Um, this is going to be a cheap trick box set but uh, first of all what's playing in the background very lightly because I'm hoping to not get a copyright strike for it is a uh, cheap trick uh, samurai rock band. This is a cheap trick bootleg from 78. Uh, classic stuff and the reason I'm playing that is because um, that's what I'm going to be sharing. Uh, everybody knows what this album is. This is Cheap Trick Live at Budokan. Um, Rolling Stone Magazine uh, listed this as one of the 500 greatest rock albums of all times. Uh, and it is a classic live album from the 70s. Um, at the time that this was released in 78, um, Cheap Trick were somewhat known in the US, but they were huge in Japan. Uh, and the band took advantage of that and recorded two nights, July 28th and the 30th, 1978, uh, in front of a massive crowd of 12,000 people each night um, and just tore it up. Recorded it, mixed it, you know, took the best songs from both nights and uh, re released it on vinyl. And of course, this vinyl is very well known. It's a gatefold. And you got all the band members on here. You got you got uh, Bunny Carlos and Rick Nielsen on the back here, and uh, Robin um, Robin Zander and Tom Peterson on the uh, on the front. Um, then you got your gatefold, some shots from the show, and also came with this very nice. Uh, booklets so it was already a very nice release I mean even before the box set came out uh, this is just the standard US pressing the European pressing as I understand came on a um, on a yellow vinyl I've never seen one I don't have one um, but regardless a very nice set um, cheap trick live at Budokan recorded in Tokyo um, but several years ago I should look at the year this came out uh, what year see if it's on the back somewhere 2008 the Cheap Trick Live Food Come box set came out. And this is a CD DVD box set, and it is very, very nice. First of all, you've got the, the box. I've kept the shrink wrap on it all these years, but um, it's uh, got both shows complete. Um, both shows complete, recorded in Tokyo. Uh, oh, and I should have mentioned that um, this song also put uh, Cheap Trick on the map in the United States because. Um, I Want You To Want Me became a massive hit. I think it went up to uh, number six on the Billboard charts, uh, somewhere around there. Um, and then also, uh, Ain't That A Shame, the Fats Domino cover also charted um, for the band that same year. First of all, you get uh, a book which has the same um, cover art that you see on the, the record. Um, but this book is just beautiful. It's got everything that's inside the smaller book and more. Photos from the show, quotes from the band, uh, talking about the, the show being one of the most memorable you know, things in their lives. It was basically like Beatlemania, um, except it was Cheap Trick Mania in Japan. <laughs> uh, security guards, the whole bit. It was a um, very, very cool experience for them, obviously. Um, so this, I, mean, I don't even know how many pages this is. I'm just see, maybe it has numbers on it. 40 page booklet, perfect bound book, very nice. Uh, and as well, this set came with this gigantic uh, poster, which is all Got the uh, black and white checkerboard in the back. I'm going to go ahead and open up this post so you can see it. There's a cheap trick at Budokan. Poster that came with the box set. And of course, what everybody really wants, this is the, the CD, DVD booklet. Comes with, like I said, four discs. Three CDs, the complete show. Uh, from both nights, and then a DVD of the uh, of the performance, as well as um, interviews uh, from then and now of the band discussing, you know, that show and, and how it affected their lives, and how you know it affected them as a band, and how it basically catapulted them into you know mainstream USA at the time. Um, just a fantastic release from them. Um, so, like I said, uh, you know, I always thought Budokan was a great record. Um, perfect as it is with just the amount of songs it has on it but this full show cheap trick completest definitely need to have it sound quality is great um, it's funny hearing um, hearing Rob Zander speak because he talks you know he talks real slow um, and, and really enunciates his words as if 
you know, people from Japan could understand any easier that way <laughs> than he would normally. Um, but, you know, he gave it a shot. So, uh, like I said, this is a classic performance from a classic band and a great box set. Very well done. Um, that's about all I can say about it. <laughs> um, I'm surprised it's not more well known. Um, it's worthy, worth picking up if you can find a copy. I'm not sure if it's, I don't think it's all that rare. I'm pretty sure it's still pretty uh, commonly available. I picked up my copy from Hastings back when it first came out. So so there you go. Cheap Trick. Budokan box set. Three CDs, DVD, poster, book. Um, awesome. That's it. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. God bless. Stay strong.